Hi, in this demo, we will going to uh, build a table using the SRS and apply some uh, activities on the table, like uh, how we can merge two columns together, sorting our table, uh, make some uh, background color filter, something like that. So in order to do that, uh, we have here the report items if you don't have it you can go to the view and you know enable the toolbox right here or simply go to the insert and we can add the table right here so here where i have my table and uh, i have this is my data set that i already uh, let me go here and show you how I call it. I use the embedded uh, data set and I call this table. So first I will going to add the first name just simply like that, drag and drop your uh, needed columns. Last name, I would like to see the department ID here. Let's see guys, it's very flexible. Uh, if you want to move between the the tables and the age I needed to see here. Uh, if I want to uh, color my uh, uh, head, I see here there is an option for the background color. I can simply choose, make it like this, and make it in the middle. Change the the color of the my titles to make it uh, white so I have right now my table just like that I want the ID go to the left the same thing as the age just go right here and go to the preview now okay uh, another thing that uh, we were going to check today it's um, if I want to insert another column, for example, I simply can, let's, go, let's see which one, title, drag and drop, and it's just like this. So I will see the title, it's come like all the way to the end. And uh, if I want to merge two uh, columns together, for example, the first and last name, I want to make it a full name so simply click on any of the columns and keep press it just like this and drag them together and right click go to the merge cells and name it as full name same thing for this merge cells but what i'm going to see here i'm going to see only the first name i'm not seeing the the last name so what you have to do is go to the column right click go to text box properties here where i see to the value go to the expression of the value and you need to add the last name i need this for the space and the fields is right here and this is the last name now i add the first and last name and press ok now i see this is the first and last name uh, another thing i can uh, sorting my uh, table let me go right here to all the way top left on the corner go to the Taplex properties and go to the sorting. Uh, here, where I can add my uh, the sort uh, condition here. Let's say is sorted by the depart. Where is it? Department ID. Press OK. Now it's sorted from the smallest to the biggest. And I can another way to uh, sort it in, in table level, like uh, in a column level, not in a table level. 
for example I go right here right click on the age go to the text box properties and go to interactive uh, sorting and enable it and let's choose here the age which is I'm on the age column press OK and see now I have it's a dynamic oh it's not right here sorry it's supposed to be go right here go back and disable it and go right here and text box properties now go to the age press OK now it's come as a dynamic that I can uh, simply uh, change my uh, sorting condition whether from the smallest to the from the oldest to the uh, from the youngest to the oldest or reverse to the from the oldest to the youngest now what we can do uh, else uh, we can filter there is a uh, you know multiple ways to filter my uh, table whether uh, you can go right here right click uh, on the data sets and go to here to filters and go to add let's say is, I'm going to say my department ID it's equal or more than mm, six okay press okay go right now here I'm no longer see any department ID less than or equal to six and since this condition it's take off multiple rows let me say four okay now I see four and sixteen or you can simply go again to the data set right here and add your uh, aware clause here and add the condition that uh, you needed uh, or you can uh, here you can filter right here in a table level as well you can add your condition right here is the same as the data set it will uh, reflect on the table so this is so far what we have for the table today and uh, I will going to add more uh, activities or uh, options that you can apply on your table uh, with me guys for the next videos uh, thank you for watching and thanks <laughs>